in understanding but delights in airing his own opinions. A fool finds no pleasure in understanding. What a wonderful proverb. My dear students, parents, teachers and all the well-wishers, welcome back to another powerful motivation. Once early in the morning, an attender in an institution just clearing the uh, things on table of the teacher and trying to set the rack and when opened the rack and setting the books to take for the teacher something happened and the teacher came and said hello attender bring those books immediately to room number five I have a seminar today and uh, he just looked at the teacher he just nodded. He's not so happy, enthusiastic like every day how he is. Good morning, teacher. He didn't wish also. There is some kind of pain in his face. But teacher is so busy thinking about the seminar but not looking at the attender. Then attender tried and then he tried his best to be faster to reach the teacher's table in the room number five to place the books from the rack. The teacher looked a little angry. I told you to be a little early. Why are you late? And then she grabbed the books and she started her seminar. This attender walked back slowly to the staff room. What do you understand by this? Here, the attender's finger was crushed in the rack when he's trying to open. And the finger is bleeding. There is a lot of pain. But the teacher failed to observe. The teacher failed to know what is happening with the attender. And the teacher is busy communicating one side. We call such communicating is as one-sided communication. Most of us involve in this. We are busy communicating from our end. But the communication is effective only when the other person receives it as you communicate. That's why the words of wisdom speak, A fool finds no pleasure in understanding, but delights in airing his own opinions. Here, it's not the teacher is foolish, but she failed or he failed to understand the attender at that moment. First thing in the best communication, effective communication, is to hear the other person. Hear. I'll tell about these two things, very important. Ted Engstrom, an effective communicator, a motivational speaker, once he said, I observed in one big seminar, a world-class seminar, where a well, a popular a teacher, a professor of a state university, he is head of the department of the communication, he is taking the seminar that day. The topic of the seminar is effective communication. But our motivational speaker, Ted Engstrom, observed that seminar was an utter failure because the HOD of the communication department busy giving away theories, examples, illustrations, his knowledge and everything. But he is not interacting with the crowd in the seminar over there. It was a one-sided communication and it was a failure that day. Many of us do this mistake. We think this everything is fine when we are very happy. We think the whole room is happy and we will be airing our own opinions. We don't try to look at the pain of some people in that hall. When you don't understand the opposite person, you fail in communicating. That's why the first point is here. The one whom you are communicating here. Here before you speak. And the second one, not just hearing, 
if you want your communication to be more effective if you want the communication to be more lively the impact has to be more good it's not just hearing before you speak you try during this hearing process you try to listen listen is paying attention to what the other person is speaking hearing is just listening that's just hearing the sounds and words the second important point not only hear but listen and respond if you don't respond they get hurt if teacher would have looked at his face why is he like that today he didn't even wish me good morning what happened attender what happened to you then he would have shown teacher my finger is crushed in the uh, rack who oh, is it oh i'm sorry i have my seminar i'll get back to you i'll give you some ointment i have a medicine for you you just put some uh, wet cloth you put it around one not even once few seconds it takes he feels more energetic strong because teacher communicated with him at that moment what he needs but he failed over there you need to know that moment that's why many people they don't communicate their emotions and the other person feelings doesn't coincide that's why their communication fails and it becomes one sided communication when we communicate our emotions and the listener's feelings should coincide when someone fell on the road you can't go on saying that you should look and walk what is this you can't say immediately you make him get up you help him then you give your piece of advice then your communication is effective communication i want all of us to think of this wonderful words of wisdom that is a fool fool is unwise he doesn't even think what it is that's what according to the great wisdom um, king the king of king solomon wisdom king words of wisdom a fool takes no pleasure in understanding you need to understand the opposite person otherwise you will be speaking to the walls and furniture not to the people who has emotion and feelings that's why fool takes no pleasure in understanding but delights lot of happiness in airing his own opinions huh, how beautiful today maybe it is beautiful for us not for the other person when you look and talk to someone try to read try to hear second important is listen respond third one your emotions and other person's feelings must coincide then only it is an effective communication otherwise this becomes one sided communication and you are always one sided communicator but world needs two sided communicators we need to speak to the need of the hour need of the day understand the opposite person feel one with others have compassion be empathetic otherwise you will be just speaking to the non living things but not the living things think of this wonderful proverb have a blessed day god bless you